What's going on guys, Black Scout Survival. I'm really excited to share this news with you. Uh, uh, you guys that follow us on social media, you know, Facebook, Instagram, and stuff like that, already know about this. And if you don't follow us on social media, that's how you get a, the, you know, a lot of new information that we don't always put out on videos firsthand. So you may wanna you know, subscribe below. We'll put those links to those various social media outlets below. But this is a product that I've been working on uh, for about eight months now with WowTac, formerly A Tactical. And this is the uh, A1S BSS TAC version. So it has all the features of the A1S that we've, we've done a review before, but it has a lot of upgraded features on things that I always wanted on a light, but just could never find them. So, uh, you know, we collaborated and I put in my input and asked, you know, for certain features and they were able to do them for us. So I think you're going to like them. They have a lot of applications for the prepared citizen and, you know, uh, will get you out of a lot of bad situations. So you'll notice first off, the light is a uh, Marine Coyote. I'm for a Marine, so I want a Marine Coyote. Blends in better than black. Has the Black Scout logo crest here. And then on this side, we have Black Scout Survival. The body has knurling. You know, it's anodized, the Marine Coyote. Has a dovetail switch back here, so you can positively identify quickly with your thumb couple lanyard holes here. We have a, a black pocket clip. There's anti-roll feature right here so the light isn't going to roll around on you. And has a smooth reflector and a LED light. We have the main tail cap switch here for tactical type lighting. And then we can have the uh, adjustment up front here which I like and it'll stay on whatever mode you're, you left it on last when you first cut it back on. Has 1150 turbo strobe uh, lumens, so you know you can blind an attacker to fight with, and we'll go down and talk about the various different other features of the light. One of the biggest features, and one thing I always look at in my flashlights is the, the ability to use as a weapon. You know, on airplane travel and things like that where I can't carry a firearm or knife, I wanna have something that I can use in, in a defensive situation. Maybe you're hiking or, you know, taking a late night jog, and you can carry this flashlight and also use it as a weapon. What we have here is the strike bezel. Now, I asked for a very aggressive strike bezel versus a lot of them that barely has any type of teeth on it. And what this does is it screws into the threads on the light. So now we have a very aggressive strike bezel, crenellated strike bezel there. So we can use this as a glass breaker, escape from a vehicle. We can use this as a very good, uh, you know, weapon as far as hitting the vital uh, targets of the, you know, face and eyes and stuff like that. We can also use this to, uh, you know, strike soft uh, tissue on the uh, arms and stuff like that in, in, in a fight where you're trying to like defang the snake or so. So this can come off, go through TSA, take this off, throw this in your bag or whatever, carry this on and then you can, uh, you know, put this back on. So you always can travel with some type of uh, defensive uh, measure. Just going to talk about real quick the uh, different lumens we have. We have the uh, turbo strobe and SOS at 1150. We have uh, 450 lumens on high. We have uh, 140 lumens on medium and a low 24 lumens. And what I have here is because a lot of times, you know, I've always, you know, vi videos you've seen in the past where I talk about uh, tactical lighting and stuff like that. And in the military, we use red filtered lenses to preserve our night vision. It also creates a low visible signature. Now this uses the same threads as the, uh, the crenellated strike bezel. You can see there's a non reflective coating, lens coating on here. So even though it looks like it's not red, it is a red lens. And we just take that and screw that in here. And now we have a tactical light. Or if you know you're night hiking or something like that, you wanna you know, preserve your vision. But you can see the red lens here and you can go through the various modes. And if I wanna use it as a signal, I can turn that on and you know, strobe that. But we have that red lens feature, which I think is you know necessary on lighting. And these are two things that I always you know said that I needed on a light. I needed it to be able to have the ability to use as a red lens and also to use as a weapon. You know, and that's what we uh, came up with this product. 
So one of the coolest features is that this has a, is powered by 18650, but not just a regular 18650. This is a rechargeable. You'll see a micro USB. It comes with this cable here and you'll just plug your cable into micro USB. And then whatever energy source you're using, this time I'm using a through night uh, charger. And so what you're gonna see is once I hit that, you're gonna see that red light there. And that light's sh showing that this uh, battery needs power, okay? It's going, when it gets full, it's gonna show a green light over here on this side. So you'll know when, so you're not just overcharging the light, it'll give you a visual signal as to when it's uh, you know, power, been powered back up. These flashlights will be available at the link below. Um, I try to get them as reasonable as possible. You know, I think they're gonna be in the 50 to $60 range. I don't know exactly at the point in time we were uh, filming this video, but it will be down below. But uh, check them out. Let me know what you think. Pick yourself up one. I think there's, you know, to have all these features for the price, you're not gonna find anywhere else. Um, I was happy to team up with these guys. They build a very good, durable, reliable flashlights. And for a fraction of the cost, I used to spend hundreds of dollars on flashlights and they didn't even have all the features of this one. You know, the ability to recharge it on the go, um, not having to carry any extra equipment other than the cord. We have the strike bezel, we have the red filtered lens, the Marine Coyote color, the ability to remove it so you don't tear your pockets, pants pockets up or whatever you're, you know, you're doing, you're, you need to get through uh, TSA and want to still have a light with you. Um, so I don't think you're gonna find this anywhere else and uh, I'm really proud and uh, excited about it. So anyhow guys, pick it up at the link below and thanks for watching Black Scout Survival. <laughs>